Hey there, Demonio Sex here. I thought I'd make a video response to Mr. Spaccio's e-cig that he showed to the public and I want to say that he made an excellent point in his video on the flavors being good and being a better solution to smoking than smoking conventional cigarettes. Now, I have what you call a e-cig 510 and what this basically is it's a mouthpiece, an atomizer, and a battery. And inside here, that's your polyfill. And what you do with your polyfill is you take your flavors that you buy. This is peachy beer. And I bought this from Juicy Vapor, which I suggest any e-cig user or potential user goes to to get yourself some juice. And what you do is you drip it in put about four or five drips in. I have a near full cart here, so I'm only going to put three. I don't know if this camera will pick it up. Probably not. Yeah, it's not going to, but it's moist. You just want to have it so it's moist on the top. And your atomizer is this. You can't see because this camera sucks. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, it's a wick there's a wick and then there's these threads that go down in the heating element. Now what you do is you have to fill up your juice, wipe some with your thumb or paper towel. Do not lick the juice. It's very toxic. It'll make you sick. Trust me on that. But in inhaling it is fine. But anyways, what you do is you press the button. That lights up. That was just a regular hit. Now, if you want to see a big drag, clouds of vape. Now, the thing about these, these are a Joy E510, and my fiance bought me a, a starter kit for this for $35. She got it off a of Signot. Dot com. I don't know if they still got that deal, but if you're suggesting or wanting to know what you sig to purchase, it's definitely one of these. So, I suggest getting one. These are a 18 milliliter bottle of Juicy Vape. These um, run 1480 plus uh, I think $3 shipping and handling on standard shipping. These guys are based in Chicago. They're fantastic. Their site is juicyvapor.com. I do not suggest getting Signot Vapor Juice because it tastes like shit. I never ate shit, but I can pretty sure relate if that's how it tastes. Because me and uh, my fiance had some Signot Juice. It was cherry flavored. Gross. And I forgot the other flavor we had. But uh, yeah, I got some peach beer. My fiance gave me this because she says it tastes too much like beer other than pe and peach. But it kind of it tastes the aftertaste is peachy but you can taste the beer so it's a good mixture I got this mystery red from her in July this is um cherry something I, I don't remember cherry bubblegum that's it and this is pineapple cola it's mystery white but it's pineapple cola she got that from the guys over at uh, Juicy Vapor after the contest was over to guess what flavors they are and I bought me some peanut butter chocolate fudge brownie and uh, these are really good they taste great I was a smoker been a smoker since age 12 I started two days before my 12th birthday actually because I was uh, treated in the hospital after injuring my leg and some young fuck in there you know handed me a smoke he was like hey have a smoke with me so I decided to have a smoke with him and well You know, but this this is definitely better than conventional cigarettes. It tastes better. The batteries last from two to four hours. You can't go wrong with a 510. A 510 is wonderful. And uh, I use polyfill for these, but you can get this. I think it's a blue sponge, um, some kind of blue sponge filtering that you can stuff in there, and that works just as good. I mean, if you have the money to blow, but I try to take the cheapest route possible because the economy is so bad and. I don't make much money, you know, you gotta do with what you got.
And I'd also like to address Mr. Spazio. Please correct my your, my your name if I don't get it right. This place right here, Vapor Kings, they have the best atomizers money can buy. I got my uh, ones I got from the Joy, the Joy starter kit. They broke relatively fast because I didn't know how to care for atomizers until I started using them and going to the e-cigarette form. I'm not a member there, but I do go there once in a while and I check out tips and tricks how to clean and revitalize your atomizer if it starts breaking. However, I will note that light colored flavors like the peach beer here, chances are your atomizer won't die for some time. But if you use a dark color one like this one right here, massive cleaning is in order. You have to take the atomizer and blow it out very often. Uh, you can also rinse it in coke, I, I think they say, for a day and then blow out the rest of the residue. Or you can do what I do and take the atomizer run it under hot water and blow it out. It's, you'll see the water sit in the atomizer for a little while, for a couple few seconds, and then blow it out. Do that, and then put it back on your uh, freshly charged battery, and then press the button until it starts turning orange. It'll start burning the gunked up juice that's stuck in there that you can't blow out because it's either hardened or some or whatever. You gotta do that often with the um, the juice but you gotta do that like once a week now sometimes it does help to blow the lighter color fluid fluids out and but once you blow them out you can burn the rest easily just by ha not having the mouthpiece with the polyfill and juice in it and just doing a dry burn but don't do it too much because if you hold the button down for too long during that that uh, process you'll burn out the atomizer it'll pop it so you want to be careful But it's a great alternative to smoking, and I would suggest it to anyone who's interested in uh, trying something that's not smoking regular cigarettes. Because cigarettes, you get fatigued, you get tired, you don't feel like shit, and with with these things, you you feel fine. You can breathe better, you feel better, you can do more, and you're not going <gasps> trying to breathe, you know, and you won't get lung cancer. So. There's so many great things about this alternative. I could, I can't say enough about it. But if I were to give it a rating, 10 out of 10. I mean, this is awesome. I've had these since May, and it's going on. It's September now, and and it still works good. These two atomizers I got work just. They're great. They're wonderful. And now that I know how to clean them, I can hopefully keep them going for as long as possible. But sometimes you just gotta buy one if one starts stops to work, and everything you try just doesn't get it to work like it did when you first got it in the mail so you just gotta do what you can you know so that's it joy e510 an excellent product in electronic cigarettes juicy vape i want to tell everyone this if you show you bought 10 bottles from these guys they will send you a free one of this size right here so it's definitely worth the purchase of one of these. And their juices are relatively cheap. They actually sell 510 parts. Some even think that buying the parts set and without buying the sets separately will save you money. That's true depending on where you get your your uh, products from. Like Vapor Kings are they're expensive, but once you buy oh sorry. Vapor Kings is one, once you buy an animizer anima the first time, you'll get a code in the back of the card, which I won't show you the code because I want to use it in my next purchase, damn it. They'll say thank you, and they give you a code in three cards. You use that code with that card, and um, you're only allowed to do it a certain amount of time. You can get 10% off your next purchase, be it a battery, animizer. The batteries will last you. They won't break. They do lose their charge functionality over time, but... I mean, I've, I've been using this since May, and it still lasts me a good three hours, so. These, they, you don't have to break in the atomizer on Vapor Kings. As soon as you put that motherfucker in, and you, and you prime it like twice, you're vaping like this. No joke. And I never blew this atomizer out once. So this is something to think about. 
Anyways, I hope you liked this uh, video response, and uh, anyone who's interested in e-cigs, I hope this proved to be useful in some way, shape, or form. Y'all take care and have a good night.